You guys have been asking me to do a new series for a while now, and personally, I didn't want to start one without having a solid idea for it. So you guys already know pretty much what this series is about based on this title. I'm going to be going for a Infernal Cape from scratch, and to make things really hard, I'm going to be doing it on my one defense pure. When it comes to doing the Inferno though, I have two options in terms of gear I can go for here. Option one is the Twisted Bow setup. Option two is the ACB setup. Now, since I have no real experience doing the Inferno, I haven't really decided on what setup to go for yet. Obviously, the Tebow setup would be the best, but making that 1.2 bill for a Tebow would take a really long time, right? So maybe I can spend that time learning and possibly completing it with the ACB. So this is something I will decide later on. But for now, I have to make a lot of money, okay? And the way that I'm going to make that money is through PKing, PVMing, and anything else in between. No staking and no donations, obviously. I will be playing the game properly to make the money to buy everything that I'll, I'll need. So as you can see, I cleaned out my bank. The only items that I kept are some quest items and some other untradeables. The imbued rings, I won't use them unless I pay for it. I will also be streaming almost everything on my daily live streams that I do. So definitely come over to check it out if you got the time. I need to get my hands on some starting cash. So the plan here is to play some last man standing. The stream and I decided that 45 points to buy three ornate handles probably would be enough to get me going. I had 1,025 points from before, so I won't be touching that. I would have to get new points if I want to buy anything from here during the series. Okay, got the refreeze, perfect. That's a big blood barrage. We might, we might actually win our first game here. We just might be able to pull this off. Almost, there we go. All right, well, first LMS game, and we already won. That is seven points. I played LMS for about two and a half hours and got myself the 45 points that I needed to buy myself three Ornid handles. All right, so I have three handles, and I'm about to sell this. We'll do 5% under. I got 2.1 mil, and now I'm about to spend pretty much all of this on my first PK set, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we can get get our hands on. All right, so I spent almost all the money. I got 280k cash. I bought all of this um, in my inventory. Plus, I'm gonna use the ghostly robes, so I should be okay. I don't know if I'm missing anything or not, but if I'm missing something, I will definitely come back and buy it. But for now, I'm gonna use the tome of fire as my plus one. I do need to pay 100k for the Revenant Cave entry fee, so I'm going to take 100k out. And I'm using my own looting bag here, so I'm going to take another 40k for the looting bag. And I'm just going to drop it on the floor because I already have the cave unlocked and I'm already using loot looting bag. So I'm going to just drop that on the floor and um, we'll, uh, we'll get going. Okay, this setup is, is not the best, obviously, but I think I can still manage some kills with this. Here's my bank at the moment, 28k cash. So if I die here, I, um, I pretty much gonna have nothing. So I might have to go back to LMS to make, make enough money for another set, but hopefully that doesn't happen. The Revenant Caves is definitely the best place to go right now to build up my bank. One, it's the most active PK spot in the wilderness. And two, I'm guaranteed to get a minimum of 100k cash no matter who I kill. And of course, the PJ timer is useful as well. Here we go. We got a guy with a rune crossbow, which is fine. Can I kill him though? That's the question. I just DC'd. Nope, we're good. He's AFK. <laughs> He's actually AFK, bro. How it cannot it cannot get better than this. It can it cannot get better than this. 
I'm taking everything. We just doubled. We just literally doubled my 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 bank right there off that kill. First kill of the series, 180k. He probably he probably thought he died to the revs. That's that's probably what it what it is. He probably thought he died to the revs, so he came back to pick up his stuff. But little does he know, I'll be more than happy to take that 100k, bro. We just tripled our bank. We literally just tripled our bank right there. This guy's a level 85, so he's gonna have really low stats. And I think he's AFK actually. No way we found another AFK. -er. He actually is AFK. He came back. He came back, but he still died. Oh, dude, I got hella lucky right there. I got hella lucky that last spec actually hit hard. This is my second AFK kill. And this time it's for 334k. But you do not want to be scouting in here while, I, while I'm here, bro. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill every single scout for their 100k. Because that's definitely free money at the end of the day that I, that I definitely do need. Do I have to use a spec? There we go. Oh, wait. What? He had loot. Wait, what? This guy had loot. And I got almost 400k. I think he picked up loot from somebody else because he had, he had 200k cash. Yeah, I think that's what it was. He picked up loot from somebody else. I got his 100k plus the other guy's 100k. A lot of the kills you're seeing right now on these rev killers is something that I wouldn't really use in a normal video. But this is a from scratch series, so all this loot is actually very good. I, I'm gonna literally take everything when I when I loot now. 275k. All right, it's time for me to make some upgrades. I got 130k cash. Let me sell some of this stuff, and um, and I want to buy two items in particular. Okay, we got more than enough cash now. I sold some of the stuff that I PK'd, and I'm gonna go for a Serdoman sword, 280k. And then I'm going to go for an Aram Staff, 120k. These two upgrades should secure me some more kills. I was waiting around to see if that dude comes back. There he is. I'm going to TB him, even though, even though if it's a half TB, I think it should be okay still. Come on, Jagex, just work with me here, bro. If I can secure this, it'll be so good. I'm literally splashing everything. This guy's trying to bait me upstairs so that his, his, his friend can try and spec me out. Wait, is he dead? He's dead. See ya. No way. Look at that. That's that's huge. That is a huge kill. He lost his KBD pet too. <laughs> Yo, that is a huge kill. This guy was this guy baited me last time upstairs so that so that his friend can try and GMO me out. But this time around his friend was not here and uh, he just died. 3.3 mil almost off that guy, dude. Wow, a smite would have been good for the toxic staff, but 3.3 mil is huge right now. This is actually huge right now for, for my bank. He just divine potted. Hit something, bro, please, there we go, thank you. Do my RNG, man. This guy is actually risking too. 650K, 1.6K ether. All right, I think it's time we sell off a lot of this stuff and work on some more upgrades here. I'm have, I'm pr I'm pretty much out of supplies. One brew left. Let me sell let me sell the extra tome. And that puts us at 3.4 mil cash in just about two and a half hours of PKing ish. We go for a smoke battle staff then. It's 1.4 mil. We got 1.8 mil left. I think we can go for a dragon crossbow at the same time. But I think we hold off on it. I think the mage gear upgrade is good. 
think I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Midrunner 2 as well for my imbued cape back. That way I can hit some hard or hard numbers, big numbers with the fire surge. I definitely do need a G mole now. This will definitely increase my chances at getting some bigger kills now and um, get this cape out of the way. There we go. Got my imbued cape. So we should be able to catch a lot more freezes, which is good for either either escaping or chasing somebody down. So having good mage gear is definitely good here. I think it's a good thing that I went for the mage upgrade first over getting like a good spec weapon. Oh, he has an AGS. I got I gotta smite this. I definitely have to go for this smite. I'm gonna go for DDS specs. And let's see if I can smite him. I'm gonna spec again. Not good. There we go. Got him. Good fight. I think that's G Mall Cash. I don't know if he had G Mall Cash. I really hope he did though. Nah, he didn't. 300k loot. Alright, so after episode 1, this is currently my bank at the moment. As you can see, I turned on the bank value plugin on RuneLite. We're currently sitting at 7.1 mil, which is definitely not bad, dude.